let's get to men's 200. This is the Toyota men's 200 meter final. And this is going to be quite the showdown between Noel Niles and Arian Knight. And we'll get to that in a moment. But let's start out in lane nine. Kung Fu Kenny from Rice Lake, Wisconsin. This is Kenny Benarek. That's right. Made his Olympic debut in Tokyo and won silver there. But was only fourth in his semifinal. Not looking like Kung Fu Kenny. But out in lane nine, anything is possible. We'll see what kind of speed he can muster up here in this 200 meter final. He was the Diamond League champion the 200 last year. So let's go. The high school standout and college standout, Matthew Bowling, lane eight. Second at the NCAAs at 200 meters this year. He's run 1992. Here's Fred Curley. On Twitter, they're calling him Fred Run Anything Curly. I think it's Fred <laughs> Win Anything Curly. Uh, the 100 meter run, so impressive. The fastest American ever on American soil at 976. He's already coming here to run the 100, but he said he's not finished yet. He looked amazing and comfortable through the rounds. Here is Josephus Lyles, the brother of Noah Lyles, and they'll be in adjacent lanes. I think this is the kind of race where Josephus could make his very first team. He made it as far as the semifinals last year at the Olympic trials. I saw their mom when I was walking in. She said, this was my dream since they were in high school, to see them both in a national final. And not only are they in the finals together, they're next they're together. Yeah. It's amazing. Noah Lyles, obviously, already world champion. He has a bye, but he loves to compete, and he's ready for a fast race today. Here is the fastest man in the world this year and the fourth fastest ever. The high schooler from Tampa, Arian Knighton. I'll just tell you this, he ran the fastest first hundred in the semifinals by quite a margin. And I think this is his coming out party about to happen here. Absolutely right. This is Kyrie King in lane three. He placed seventh in the 200 meter final at last summer's Olympic trials, but was eliminated in the semifinals here at 100 meters. And rounding out the field, yet another product of North Carolina A&T, Javante Harding coming off his sophomore season where he was the indoor NCAA 200 meter champion. So folks, you've got the world champion, Noah Lyles in lane five. On his inside, you've got the 18 year old Arian Knighton. Now, if you're turning on as a casual viewer and maybe you want to know how do these guys compete, say, and compare uh, to Usain Bolt. The young man there in black and white, Arian Knighton, at the age of 18, has run a time half a second faster than Usain Bolt did when Usain was 18. That's how good this kid is. When Otto said that yesterday, I could not believe it. That is absolutely incredible. He's going to run well here. Guarantee you that. He's been holding back the most of anybody throughout the rounds. In his semifinal, he backed off with 50 meters to go. And remember, top four will go because Noah Lyles yeah. is the world champion. He has a bye. Toyota men's 200 is underway. Showdown between Noah Lyles and Arian Knighton right in the center lanes. Look at Knighton and you see him going past the world champion. He has been running storming turns. He's run another one. He has the lead. Have a look at this, Arian Knighton. Now Noah Lyles finds an extra gear. The world champion is coming back at the king. He looks across and Lyles gets the national championship. 1968 for Noah Lyles. He says to Arian Knighton, you're getting all the headlines, but I'm still the champ. So Lyles over Knighton, 1967 to 1969. And they did it with a slight wind in their face. Fred Curley Always makes bad. his second team, Sonia. And now at 200 meters. Mad respect there to Noah Lyles because coming off the turn, he had given up so much to the youngster, but he stayed poised <laughs> all the way through the finish line. Here we go back from the start. Watch Arian Knighton there on the inside in lane four. I don't mention it. In the prelims, he was the fastest through the first hundred, so we expected that he would do that. But at this point, Otto, I thought he would run away with it. But Noah Lyles trusted himself, trusted his training, and realized, oh, I, I still have enough real estate to catch him. And looks over <laughs> and says, don't forget, don't forget who's the world champion. <laughs> That's called post being posterized right there. <laughs> this, is, this is 2019 form again from Noah Lyles, the year he won the world championship. Yep. Did you see him go to the camera? I'm always fast. Look at that. Noah Lyles has a chance to defend his title. Knight and Curley and Kenny Benarek goes to the Worlds as well. Lewis? All righty, what a moment here. Uh, and Noah, I mean, just take us through the last 50 meters, your mentality, your effort, and getting it done for the win. I do what it takes to win. And uh, Arian got the best of me on the turn. I ain't worried about that. I saw him he reach his top speed, and I said, mine is faster. I said, I'm going to catch him. It's just going to take the whole rest of the 100. 
And that's what I did. Aaron, your rise has been pretty incredible. What do you learn from this moment? You will be coming back here for the Worlds at a, at a pretty fast time you already ran as well. Just come back and win. Job not finished. It's never finished. It ain't finished. Never finished. And Fred, right. another team, another, another event. <laughs> I feel good. I feel blessed. On to get the double. All righty, guys. Congratulations, Lee. <laughs> Whoa, we just wow. witnessed something. We just witnessed something there. The teenager not happy. <laughs> not happy. Not happy with the world champion winning. Can't wait for the world championships.